was not standing room only at Crampton Auditorium. They just didn't want to sit. The DC audience was enthralled by the 18-member unit from Brazil's 3,000-member Ile Aie Blanco, or Carnival group. They came to Washington to promote their style of percussion-only music and to show the link of African culture across the barriers of time and space. Historians estimate that 10 times as many African slave ships went south to Brazil as went north to the United States. And among black peoples of the Western Hemisphere, few have preserved African culture as well as have the Afro-Brazilians. Not just rhythm and dance, they still practice an African religion from Nigeria and a fight dance from Angola called capoeira that even Africans in Africa have forgotten. Ile Aie comes from the inner city of Salvador Bahia in northeastern Brazil. They added D.C. to their U.S. visit because D.C. black activist Dara Tompkins was down there recently and met kindred spirit Vovo, Ile Aie's president. De brancos, né, foram denunciados, não, não permite acesso de negros. He says his group was formed because Brazilian white groups discriminated against blacks. So Ile Aie celebrates black culture. And while touring Howard University, they ran into a photo of one of their heroes. So Malcolm X is known in Brazil? Malcolm X. Okay, Malcolm X. He's known in Brazil? Yes, yeah, he's very known. Uh, his find is equal to find Ile Aie. But at the concert, it was a celebration, which also featured a DC go-go band to show how similar are the musical styles in the U.S. and Brazil. And whether go-go or ile aie, the crowd loved it. I just got back from Brazil, and it was it was just great to see Brazilian culture here in DC too. And organizer Tompkins was ecstatic. This is the moment I wanted to bring to this community. She says she hopes to have them back again, not just for a night, but for a month. I'm Sam Ford, New set.